Hey, it's Nick Fenditis, and this is Nick Answers Reddit. Here's our blog for this week. So today's question is one we get surprisingly commonly. So how do you sell your home when you are not physically in the city or even in the country? So successfully selling your home, Ottawa home while you're abroad. So uh, on Reddit, uh, the user asks, so in a few months, I will be moving to a different location in the same city and putting my previous property for sale. Unfortunately, just a few days after that, I wanted to go on a trip for two months, but did not want to wait until I'm back to close on the sale if the realtor finds a buyer. So if I get myself a realtor and a lawyer, is there any way the transaction can be entirely completed while I'm away? So good news for you here is that absolutely. In some ways, it's actually easier. So longer explanation to that. First off, preparation is key. So contact your lawyer and your realtor now to let them know about your plans and interview candidates if you don't have a lawyer and a realtor yet. Meet them in person while you're still here so that they can verify your ID and satisfy their fin, satisfy their fin track reporting requirements because we do need to do those in person or have somebody that meets you in person. Uh, ask your realtor to give you a detailed opinion of value on your home now and update it closer to the launch of your listing. Uh, with current uh, listing trends or with current sales trends in Ottawa, I expect I don't expect a big swing in the next few months, but uh, changes can happen. So at least you have kind of a baseline idea of what your home will sell for. Uh, it's worthwhile to have have that up to date information both while it's listed and then in advance as well. Um, we actually, with our team, what we do is once your home is listed, we make sure that we're sending you a, a video message and a bunch of stats every week to make sense of what's going on in the market around you. Next is ask your realtor to draft listing paperwork for you early so that you have time to review it now before you're in kind of vacation mode or preparation mode uh, and ask, it'll give you time to ask plenty of questions about the paperwork. Uh, they can do this with a mock offer as well because the most stressful time to get a new new form to look at and understand is while you're dealing with an offer. Uh, so why not have a look at it now and then you know what's going on. Now, if you're moving to another property that you are going to have a mortgage on and you're hoping to bring this one over in some or part, talk to your lender about the possibility of porting your mortgage or at least know what the penalty is for closing out this mortgage, uh, maybe before the end of the original term was supposed to be and what it will cost to open one on the new property. Now. Next is the actual preparation. And I would say, again, do this well ahead of time. Uh, when, when I say prepare your home for photos, this is what my team and I mean when we do. So number one is meet with the stager. So go and, you know, go and meet with um, someone who is a professional who's going to give this advice. You don't have to bring in new furniture. And in fact, the opposite is true for most homeowners. We actually recommend that they bring some stuff out to create a less cluttered look depersonalized, but a stager will help you with all of that. It's all about, um, it's generally all about rearranging what you have now so that it shows its best and, you know, appears the most valuable it can given the, the price range that your type of home sells in. Next is get a pre-list home inspection. Um, the, I mean, there's people on both sides of the fence as to whether this is a good idea, but I'm strongly on the on the side of get a pre-list home inspection. There's not really a downside to it. Um, when you have a pre-list home inspection on your home, if it is a good, strong, clean home inspection uh, with few issues, it becomes a great sales tool because you can share it with buyers and they can decide whether or not uh, a buyer who might be on the fence is more likely to come off the fence with an offer for you. On the other hand, if you do have issues that come up during the um, during the inspection, it's better to know now than when the buyer's doing an inspection on your home, because at that point there's surprises and surprises derail offers, uh, or they at the very least cause new negotiation that can cause things to fall apart. So better to get ahead of it now. I mean, the cost is only 500 bucks and here's a hint. I mean, a good realtor is probably going to include that for you if they are a full service realtor. Uh, next is deep clean. Um, I will say that your home probably is not as clean as you think it is, and it probably doesn't smell as good as you think it is. Uh, most of us are used to a certain amount of clean. We're used to, and we're kind of nose blind to how our home smells. For example, we've got guinea pigs at our house, and I know that after, I, I mean, after I've been away for a while and I come home, I can kind of tell that we have the animals in the house. It's not ideal, and we certainly would probably have them go to somebody else's house for a while if we were listing the home for sale. Uh, but... The good news is here is that there are professionals all over the city who 
who can do a fantastic job of cleaning your home. So again, see if your realtor can include some of these services for you if they're a full service realtor. Otherwise, spring for the cost to go have a really deep scrub of your house. And we're talking like baseboards, insides and outsides of your appliances, get somebody to clean your windows. Uh, if they've accumulated some, some grit and stuff like that, you wanna make sure that you are showing a home that is pristine as possible. And then to follow that, same with paint touch-ups and small repairs. I'm talking about you know patching holes in drywall, uh, painting any chips or scuffs, things like that. Um, make sure that there's no, I mean, evidence of any sort of pest damage, uh, all those kind of things that uh, that you want to give the impression to a buyer that you're home, that you're on top of the maintenance and that you you know take good care of your home, which is correct, right? You're, I mean, you of course you're taking good care of your home, but you want it to be really obvious to a buyer so that they you know again get off the fence if they're thinking of maybe making an offer. It makes it more likely that they'll bring you an offer. Now, photos and videos. I would say if you're moving, if you're going out of the country for a couple months, do these ahead of time. If you're, I mean, as long as you're not listing when there's going to be snow on the ground, then go ahead and get those pictures done. I mean, you can get them done as soon as tomorrow. And I mean, right now it's July. Uh, that's because this is, this is the time of year when your home is going to look its best from the exterior. So as long as you're not being deceptive, I mean, you know, you have a maple tree that's going to be totally bald in the fall in your front yard then go ahead and take photos while the property looks its best. So HDR multi-flash photography, this is uh, absolute table stakes for a realtor. If a, if a realtor is out there taking photos on their own with their own camera, please run far away. This is not what's expected of a professional realtor of any sort of uh, price range these days. So make sure they're you know hiring outside professional photographers to do that magazine quality photos. Uh, 3D tour is pretty much table stakes as well. Uh, use And they should use something called Matterport or iGuide, which are the industry standards. Uh, floor plans should come with those as well. I mean, they don't cost much to get from the providers who do those. So have your photographer get you um, get you floor plans for the property video as well and video should tell a story about your property and about the neighborhood so remember that the first thing a buyer is really looking at is the area so sell them on the lifestyle of that location and everything that you've grown to love about the house make sure that they know about it so uh, tell that stuff to your realtor we can build it into the script and we can help craft a really good video have a look at a few of ours on youtube there and you can see uh, how we approach that that issue there uh, if anyone gives you says video and it's a slideshow with music I mean, they're not a good, that's not professional real estate. So uh, there are some dinosaurs who are still doing that stuff, but uh, but make sure you're really getting good quality professional visuals. That is key, it's key, it's key for selling your home. Uh, now, everything, now everything can be signed electronically and remotely, and this is a big part of your move. So after your initial meeting with your realtor and your lawyer, or perhaps even without that, there's no situation in the process where you have to be physically present. So as I mentioned, in some ways, it's even preferable for you to be away. For example, open houses, if you're away, can be held regularly without any disruption to you. You know, you're already cleared out of the house. You don't have to clean between showings. Uh, showings are go and show and much easier to schedule with no one in the house rather than scheduling around you or your family or the pets or a tenant. Um, electronic signatures are much neater and organized compar compared to print and scan documents. Um, 10 years ago when we were using, you know, printing things off and scanning them and signing and scanning back, uh, the documents could become a real mess. And then finally, Bluetooth boxes, like you see in Ottawa, they're generally iBoxes, that company, allow your realtor to see exactly when someone accesses the home on their scheduled showings. It, we know whether they've showed up or not or showed up on time, and we can restrict access to the keys at certain times, and that helps you for your security while you're away. So good luck on your move. Uh, as long as you have good professionals and you're organized, this is, should go smoothly for you. And of course, I'm a realtor in Ottawa, and uh, I hit the word limit in my my reddit post here so if you're reading this on reddit and you and you want some more elaboration on any of the points just ask me i'm happy to answer take care and uh we'll see you next week with another nick answers reddit bye for now